Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Aura video. Uh, taking some time off before I finish the grind off for <laughs> the current Lotto event going on, because there's only like 24 hours left as of the time I'm recording this. But it doesn't matter, because the grind does not stop over in NA. So I'm going to talk about the next event that is coming up, which is funny enough, the hunting quest. <laughs> so, <laughs> to the person who said, I don't think they were going to have a hunting quest right after a lotto event, that's way too much grind. Here's the hunting quest, just like it was on JP. Uh, and then also there is the Guda Guda summoning campaign that's coming as well, and this is all in preparation as we get ready for this event right here, but let's get into it. So, for the hunting quest part 9, just very quickly, so if you are someone who is specifically going crazy for lotto grinding, if you want to decide whether or not what to focus on, here's the basic things that you can get from Hunting Quest. Just to make sure, hey, maybe I should save some stuff to the side just in case. But for Hunting Quest, the first one will be Chains, and it will be, what are these little balls? The, uh, Ancient Bell of Tranquility. There we go. And then followed up, we have Night Enforcements, which is the next day, which is, um, obviously, Medals of the Great Knight and more of these Ancient Bells of Tranquility. Pretty easy, nine enforcement, as you can see here. Funny enough, uh, is it the same here? Yeah, they really don't want you to do... They re <laughs> For the plus, they really don't want you grinding with more... They don't want you looping for this. They want you to really earn this fight. <laughs> Which is funny. Um, and it looks like Knight is the exact same way. Again, only on the plus. And the regular one, it looks like A. It's just a very simple, hey, loop here and be done with it. But for this one... It's a little bit different. Also, if you want a specific experience cards, these do drop experience cards. Though, to be honest, if you want the most experience out of anything, then you would just grind 5 EXP because it's the best way to do anything. But it's just kind of a nice bonus of things, I guess, while you're while you're grinding it out. Next is the Valkyrie Hunt quest, which is more Bells of Tranquility, followed up by some Aurora Steel. And this one, this one starts off, oh, three, two, and then one. And this one's all three. Perfect. Oh, but this one's weird because it goes into Lancers and then it goes into Riders at the end. Huh. Don't know how I f it makes it, I guess, gra it's a little bit more annoying because it makes it kind of feel like you have to use uh, Berserker in these instances. But I guess not in Pride Plus because you can easily just take these two out with a, an Arts Loop or Saber and then bring someone in for an Assassin for the final hit. Because, gad, that's a lot of EXP. That's a lot of HP. <laughs> to be fair, they lowered this down because Assassins have a, an inherent negative attack, so that's why they do it there. That's why this one has a little bit less. Anyway, next we got the Mecha Demon Boar, which has uh, gears and it has the Reactor Core. Uh, another simple one, one, two, two, three, 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 pretty easy, easy stuff. And then the next day it is the Demon Hunt quest. This one has hearts, and then this one also has bells, and this one also has the fluid. This is another one, three, one. That's a really weird one, but okay. And then on the non plus one, it's another three, 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 just to be sure. For the Hydra, it is horseshoes. Funny in the way, does the cause one have. Yeah, that's funny, and Pride Plus. When do you lose these? So at the beginning you have um, Tranquility Bells, but then as soon as you move on to the next one, you lose your chance with them, but it's okay. Instead you get Horseshoes and you get, I believe it is Wine? Yeah. So none of these are super, uh, this is speaking for me, usually for hearts, most people are going to need hearts the most out of anything. I know for a fact a lot of early year uh, servants use hearts. Who I remember as an Ascension uses hearts, which was a real pain in the ass back in the day, back when it was harder to get hearts. A little bit different now. Gears is kind of nice to have. Aurora Steel, in my mind, is good to have just because it's a newer kind of material, so just having a horde of them is nice for whenever a unit actually needs them. Because it's less of a pain in the ass. I think a good chunk of units use the Metal Servants, and probably the most, the Chains of the Fool are probably the one that are like, the most priority because these usually take like 50 at a time for a lot of units if i can show it here yeah yeah like 36 30 32 24 24 30 30 40 30 30 24 30 36 46 40 10 30 32 108 144 154 108 144 
108. I could literally. 180? Why is this unit using 180? <laughs> That's insane. Oh, Tristan does too, but Tristan is a better unit than the than the Yuri twins over here. 216 to finish Napoleon. <laughs> What is actually the highest for any of these units? Um, now I'm kind of curious. 216 for Quetz. Well deserved. I grinded all that back in the day. I totally did that. Without a moment's hesitation. 108. Yeah, as you can see here, chains. A lot of units use a lot of chains, so it's just nice to have a whole abundance of them because they're usually a pain in the ass to grind for. But because um, they're bronze, it's specifically because they're a bronze material, they take this much material and stuff. Like silvers usually don't take as much, and then gold is usually pretty respectable. In the amount is just usually harder to get, but yeah, make the decision for yourself. If you want to save some specific apples and then just kind of grind it out. But other than that, it's pretty much just a bye week. It's really not much to do until Gouda comes in. Probably catch up with the story. That'd be a smart thing to do. That's probably what I'm going to do. And speaking of, let's talk about the U.S. campaign here. Which has Okita, Hijikata, and uh, uh, I kept wanting to call him Okada because I was using the first names of Isu, but it's Izzo. And on the first day, Okita gets a raid up, on the second day, Hijikata gets a raid up, and then they share one, and then it goes like that until the banner is gone, and Izzo is on every single one of them. Izzo is a limited three, and I kind of like having Izzo, even though I don't use Izzo that much. It is kind of nice to have him there as an MP5 every once in a while, and he does have his uses and stuff like that. He's probably one of the better three assassins. I think he might actually still be the best three assassin if I have looked at, at least currently in NA, based off of strengthenings and stuff. Mainly because they made a lot of early assassins very bad, so it's a lot of the more modern ones are better, usually. There's some exceptions, uh, and also depending on strengthens and stuff like that. That's why for the longest time, um, Legend was the unit you used to beat France back in the day, because he was the best assassin <laughs> at a one star. And he did his damnedest for us back in the day. Man, it's such a crazy time back in the day. But anyway, um, the Hijikata also finally has that buff, so now he finally has guts. Okita is Okita, therefore she is solid. Um, a lot of people like Okita, so go for it, man. Listen, I can tell you right now, if you... A lot of people have already made up their mind on summoning of this banner or not. I am probably going to skip it, even though I would like Okita. I have failed to get Okita in every single form except for Alter that she has released in, she just doesn't like me. So I'm just not going to bother with it. I have NP2 Hijikata, which is funny because I don't really care about Hijikata all that much, and my Izzo's NP5, so there's really no reason for me to summon on this. You do get some of the, um, no, this is where the strength thing comes in for the, for both of them, which will give them their, their thing. But anyway, I digress. I wish you the best of luck if you do end up summoning. I think, I don't, it doesn't look like any of the old Gouda Gouda um, CEs are on here. So, based off of them not showing up, I'm going to say that none of them are on there. So, summon at your own uh, caution. If you're someone who, I hate summoning on any banner that does not give me a craft essence that makes it easier to grind. But, sometimes you just need to do it for that specific unit you want. So, anyway, best of luck. That's the end of the video, everyone. I'm gonna go back to probably grinding and finishing up whatever I need to get for Lotto in the time I have. I've been very busy, so I have not been able to get it done. And also, I've been a little bit of a, I've been a little bit lazy, but I'm also, my count is crazy stacked up, so I'm not like some other people who probably would use it a little bit more. But I digress. It's the end of the video, everyone. Till next time, peace out and have a good day. Peace out. I said it twice. I'm dumb. Bye. Bye.